All right, so I'm going to be replacing the keyboard on this Dell Latitude E7470. All right, so this keyboard has like a big crack in it. So let me see if I can show this here. So there's a big crack here, so we're going to be replacing this. All right, it looks like also this is popping out, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. I don't know if it's going to pop back in or... Okay, it looks like it's really broken. So we're just going to take all these screws out and take it apart. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is take these screws out using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. If this is like um, the model I think it is, then most likely the screws are all going to stay in this um, plate here. And you don't have to actually take the screws out, but just unscrew them so that you can lift the cover out. Man, it looks like this broke off as well. So here you can see. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue taking out all the screws here. Okay, let's go ahead and take all these screws out. I'm doing this with a broken right clavicle or collarbone. So if I can do this with one hand kind of disabled, then you guys should be able to do this. All right. So most likely the back here should pop up and the bottom should swing out here. So you want to lift this up like this. Okay, it's kind of stuck. All right, work your way over and you lift it up like this, okay? So again, usually the clips here at the bottom are in like this. So there we go, I snapped them back in place, all right? They actually swing into place, you don't click them in. So when you take the cover out, you actually put them at that angle and then you put it down and put the screws in, all right? So anyways, we're gonna lift that out, here you go. And yeah, all the screws stay intact onto this metal plate. Right. If you take them out, just put them back in. Don't lose them. All right. So here we can see inside. It looks like there's an SSD here. Um, I don't know if this the battery might have been replaced on here. This doesn't look like an original because it doesn't say Dell or anything on it. Um, the battery model number is J60J5. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to take this apart. Um, I don't know if any screws are missing from here because, again, it looks like the battery's been replaced. I think there's one screw missing here. So if anything looks different, keep that in mind. Um, and we are going to be transferring over the entire screen assembly, the motherboard, everything into this um, replacement one. Okay, so hopefully all the parts are compatible and we're going to just swap it over. All right, the speaker here looks like it got a little damaged, so I'm actually going to take the speaker out from here and swap it over. Um, yeah, but the keyboard, everything else, trackpad, touchpad, I mean, um, we're gonna keep all of that in place. Okay, hopefully everything else is the same. There is this board here, which I'm not sure um, because I don't see that on this one. So I'm not sure what, oh, this one has like an extra, like smart card thing here. So I don't know if I should pop that entire thing out. I might have to just so it doesn't change anything on their computer. Um, I do see the slot here for that cable. So yeah, I don't know. I'll take it out just so that nothing will change. Otherwise the uh, customer might be confused. I mean, there is, hmm. I mean, there's this slot here with this piece and the other one doesn't have that. So I don't know, I might have to just, well, we'll just transfer it over and install it and then they'll be kind of confused. All right, so let's take out this, the battery first. There's one screw here. You do want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. All right, I think there's supposed to be two of these. So these screws are M2 uh, by five. So that's supposed to mean two millimeter by five millimeter long. All right, so we'll take that screw out. Again, we're, you're supposed to take out both of them. And actually, there might have also been a screw in the middle. Actually, no, that's for the cover. Okay, so anyways, we're going to remove the battery connector. There's this tab here. Let me zoom in to make this a little bit easier to see. So there's this tab here. We're going to pull this out. Okay, just pull on it just like that, and the battery connector comes out. All right, once you do that, let's zoom out. We'll take the battery out of here. Sorry, this laptop's too big, but lift this up slightly at an angle and then you slide the battery forward or up and then you can take it out just like that. So there's the battery. It has this cable here. So if you replace the battery, you're very likely going to have to transfer this cable over to the replacement one. 
All right, so there we go. Okay, here we can see all the connectors underneath. They do look the same, so we should be okay. Again, I am going to transfer over the speakers here just because the other one looks kind of bad. So these speakers are held in with rubber pieces. It's missing one here. But anyways, we're going to transfer over the, the original ones, so we shouldn't have that issue. Just grab that, kind of wiggle it, and pull it out. Same thing with the other side. Okay, grab the speaker, kind of pull it up, and wiggle it out. Okay, just like that. I'm going to move that aside. Okay, so we got the speakers out. I'm going to put these old speakers in there. It looks like they did have some adhesive here, but I don't think that's supposed to be in there. I think the when they sold it, they added that. Let's see. Okay, so let's unplug the speaker first. So to do that, you just take the wings here uh, of the connector. I use my fingernails, and then you kind of just wiggle it as you pull on it slightly. Okay, and you can see it eventually just walks out. Then the cable is threaded underneath this area, so just unthread it. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to lift the speaker out. It's going to be a little bit painful with my collarbone, but there we go. Okay, get those rubber pieces to stay into place. Kind of wiggle it as you pull it. All right, there we go. Again, you want to keep the rubber pieces in place. It's like halfway in. All right, let's thread the cable out of here. Okay, oh, it's kind of stuck. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Let me try with some tweezers here. It might help a little bit. Okay. Kind of grab that and twist it a little, pull it out. Okay, here we go. Grab that, twist it a little bit, and pull it out. Man, these speaker cables are kind of tough to remove. Okay, get that out. Slide, slide it over. Come on, there we go. Okay. Go ahead and pull the speaker out all the way. There's this plastic bit that's kind of in the way, makes it a little bit difficult. But uh, just work it and get it up. Okay, you might have to kind of push it over a little bit. So it helps to kind of push it over to the side when you kind of lift it up. Kind of wiggle it, push it over. Come on. There we go. Oh, it took the rubber thing with it. So you want to make sure to get this rubber piece and keep it with the speaker here. There we go. So yeah, there's no adhesive on this one. I'm going to put this old speaker here just to have it there. Actually, yeah, we'll just put it there. All right, and we'll just thread this all back in. Okay, I know this is going to be a long video, guys, so yeah, bear with me. I'm going to be transferring all this stuff over back and forth. Okay, get that into the slot there. Get that in. There we go. So I'm going to leave this out because I don't need to reroute it. All right, let's go ahead and work with the other one. Ow. Okay. And we'll just put this back in, get those pieces over those mounts, there we go, get the cabling, thread it back over just like before, okay, there we go, put that in. Go and let's put the speaker back in as well. Get in there. Oh, see this piece is being weird. We're gonna have to fix that rubber piece. Okay, fix that as well. There we go. All right, and we're gonna thread this wire back over. Hopefully we don't have to transfer too much other stuff in here. Oops, get those wires over as well. There we go. Go. 
Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got those wires back in. Let's go ahead and start removing some more pieces. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so if you're wondering of the RAM, pull these two tabs to the side. Probably should have showed the RAM and SSD first. But here's the RAM, 4 gigs PC4, 2133P. You can put any size stick of RAM as long as it's PC4, 2133P, you should be okay. So if you want, you can get two 16 gig sticks. But um, yeah, make sure it's 2133P. Okay, it looks like there's some screws here holding this stuff down. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the SSD now. There's two screws here as well. Hopefully, again, it looks like somebody worked on this, so hopefully they didn't put, like, the wrong screws here or anything. So I'm going to take these screws out and see if we can... This screw seems to be staying in place. It looks like it. once you get those two screws out, you can lift it up, and then you can pull this out. So here's the SSD. It's stuck to this um, thing here, so I think they put a heat pad that's stuck to it. So let me try and peel that out. Um, it's kind of stuck to it. There we go. All right, let's take a look. We got here is a PCIe NVMe SSD, of course. Okay, so if you wanted to replace this, it is PCIe NVMe. All right, I'm going to put that bracket back into place, but I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so we're going to put this just so we can make sure it stays lined up. Okay. And we're going to get this screw and put that back in place. I think this is actually sticking into the motherboard itself. So we don't actually have to remove this to get the SSD or to take the motherboard out. But we do have to remove this one screw. Okay. So I'm undoing that one screw just so we can lift this up. All right. So now let's go ahead and start removing the screws for the motherboard, the screen, and everything else. Again, you want to keep all the screws in order because if you mix them up, they can... Um, cause some damage. All right, so this might be a little tricky. There's a lot of screws in here, but we're going to go in like a row like this. So you can see there's a whole bunch of screws there. Then you got one screw there. Um, or you can do it all as one like row like this. Okay. There are like hidden screws under here. Once you take out the battery, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but to be safe, you want to press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds. All right. So I'm going to hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds. This prevents damage. The main reason I do this is if I'm going to be taking out the screen uh, cable uh, because that one is the most sensitive. It has a lot of um, power running through it that can actually fry some components. Okay, so there we go. Let's close this up. And then let's go ahead and start removing everything. So you got the BIOS or the CMOS battery here. I'm going to actually leave that connected and we're just going to peel that up. All right, just like that. We're probably going to have to put some new adhesive there. Um, you got these little LED uh, lights down here. We're going to leave that in here because the replacement one has that as well. But there's one screw if you need to remove it. Just flip that latch up there, and then you can pull this out. Okay, then you got this connector here for the trackpad, touchpad. So we're going to take that out as well. Again, we're going to leave all these cables there um, because they're not needed. Okay. So we got all of those. It looks like the replacement keyboard is missing a bunch of screws. So maybe I should transfer it over. I'm wondering if I should actually just transfer the keyboard over. Hmm. I don't know if this one has melted plastic holding it down as well, or if it's just these screws. Um, but anyways, let's try and transfer over these screws here. Okay. Since they're missing from the replacement one, so... Okay, so these screws do fit in here, so we can transfer them over. If I see missing screws, I'm just going to bring them over. Okay, now this computer is going to have a little bit of extra functionality with this card reader. Um, but yeah, if they, I mean, I noticed like some plastic is missing here, so if they end up needing it to be replaced, uh, then I might have to just transfer the whole keyboard over here. But uh, we'll see. Depends what the customer wants to do. So, but for now, we're just going to migrate everything over like this. Okay, 
So now that we got that, let's see here. We're going to have to start removing all these screws here holding this thing in place. Let's go ahead and I'm again, I'm going to go along across. So let's see, there's a bunch of screws on the back here as well. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let's remove the six screws from back here. These help hold in the hinges and everything as well. So we do have to remove these six screws, okay? Again, keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. If you mix them up, you can actually end up having some problems. So the way I keep them in order, um, I should have shown earlier, but I put them on the flat side here. Um, on my desk and then I just put them in the pattern that I remove them so six across and that's how I just put them out on my desk six across okay okay three four sorry I'm going out of view of camera but hopefully you get what I'm doing it's gonna be a bit more complicated than I was expecting four all right, there's another one here, five. And last one here, six. All right, now that we got all those screws, it looks like these metal covers come off. Let's see, or they're kind of wiggling around, so I don't know. This one, this side is coming out easier than the other, so I don't know. We'll see if I have to transfer them. It looks like I will, because this side doesn't have those on it. So we'll see, depending what we gotta do. I think I have to remove those. Okay, so now we're gonna go across. Ooh, okay, this one decided to just randomly fall off on its own. So that's kind of weird. We'll set that aside. I don't know why this one is kind of stuck here. I guess it's, it's supposed to fall off. I see the wireless antennas going in through here. So I don't know how to get this out on purpose. It just randomly fell off on the other side. So, okay, we're gonna continue removing the screws. Again, these screws are kind of in a row, so I'm gonna remove them and count them as like, as part of the same row, especially since it's moving from left to right. All right, so we got one, two, the difficult part is remembering uh, where I took the screws from. Since you guys are watching the video, you can kind of watch and then do that. But for me, I can't replay the video while I'm doing the repair. So I have to actually remember it. If I do forget, I guess I could always like redo the video or pause and then do it later. But there we go. One, two, three. Another one here. Four. Sorry, I know the lighting is bad right there because the rest is all dark or it's light down here and the rest is dark. Let me see if this helps. Four, five. Six. I think I have a customer here. So I will be back in a bit. We got six. This cable's a little bit in the way. It looks like this part they it broke so I think they dropped this or something because there's a lot of broken pieces here let's pull this wire up a little so I can move it out of the way we're gonna take this screw out geez that screw is gonna be stuck there I think okay let's get that all right one two three four five six so there's the seventh screw okay customers here all right, I'll be back. I'm gonna pause the video and I will be back. So we've got the seventh screw there holding this charge port or DC jack into place. And then we'll get the eighth screw here. And then we'll go ahead and do the rest after. All right, so eight, eight screws there. All right, I'll be back in a bit. See you guys. All right, I'm back, so let's continue removing bunches of screws. So, got those eight. Again, I'm not sure why this one isn't coming out. Maybe I should try opening the screen and see if I can, oh, actually, that's gonna be, especially with this broken stuff, that's gonna be kind of risky, so I'm gonna leave it closed for now. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and remove the wireless antennas. So we got this um, gray and white antenna and the black and gray antenna that are just sitting here gonna take those out just so that they're not like in the way when we go to 
remove the screen, okay. Um, I don't technically need to remove the wireless card, but since I have to remove the screw anyways to get to the antennas, I'm gonna just remove that. So take that screw out. You got this metal bracket here. I'm gonna set that aside. Be careful not to lose the screw. Set that aside. All right, the way the antennas come up, I just pull up on the tails. All right, you wanna kind of pull straight up on the tail itself. It, I'm using my fingernail, but I'm prying mostly at the tail area here, okay? just like this All right and there we go we can get the antennas out so for some reason the white antenna was on the black wire and then the or did I get mixed up I don't know usually it's not that important I'll probably rewatch the video and then if it's mixed up we'll I'll check that later because um, the black wire does reach there okay so maybe it was the black wire was on the black one and then I just wasn't paying attention yeah okay so there's little arrows here. Check yours. Make sure if the black arrow or the white area, uh, um, arrow is lining up with which wire. I'll check my video later so I can see that. But you can check on mine and see if it's the same. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and go across, see if we see any other screws. If you want to remove the wireless card, it just pops up like this. And then you can kind of wiggle and pull it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and go across and see if we see any other screws. We're going to leave the heat sink screws in place. The CPU is soldered to the board. Let's go ahead and remove the um, LCD or LVDS connector here. All right, so there's two screws holding this in place. I'm going to actually keep these screws together so it's easier to keep track of. Do whatever works for you, whatever helps you remember where the screws came from, but that helps me, so we'll keep those two screws over there. All right, and then the LCD connector is like this. You kind of just pull it up like the battery connector, but sometimes it's hard to pull up. So what I find helps is I use my fingernail under the edge of one side and I pop that up as I pull it. There you go, comes out so much easier. And we'll just unroute this cable from this area here. Okay, we got the DC jack or charge port connector. We're gonna take this out as well. It goes underneath the fan here. And I'm actually going to leave it attached, but if you wanted to remove it, you just grab it and you kind of just wiggle as you pull, okay? And just keep wiggling it and pulling it. It'll be really tough to pull this out, but if you keep going, it'll eventually pop out. I don't want to yank it out since I don't need to. All right, then there's two screws here. I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. This is going to make it, okay. Well, whatever. Let's remove these two screws here. I need to kind of work quick to respond to people or they're going to get annoyed. I don't like having to um, stop the recording because then when I merge it back, it takes a long time for it to do that. And the quality of the video gets a little bit worse. All right, so let's remove these two screws. Okay. Hmm. Is that held in with a bracket or something? What's... Oh... Man, even the fan piece here, there's a piece of plastic and that thing's also broken, it looks like. So this screw is supposed to hold the fan down, but that's broken there. So anyways, there we go, we got that out. As you can see, the um, screen actually comes up after removing all those screws. So technically we can actually pull the whole screen away from this right now. So let's actually do that if we can. So let's lift this up. Oh, this metal bracket here is still caught. So I don't know why this side of the bracket doesn't want to come out. Why is this? Oh, there we go. Okay. So you kind of have to kind of pull it down this way and lift it up to unhook it from this edge here. Okay. So there we go. Kind of have to pull it. There we go. Undo it from that lip. And there we go. We can slide this out. Set that over there as well. Okay, so it actually goes this way. All right, so now we should be able to get out the screen, I think. Oh, this piece comes out as well. So be careful with that. <laughs> this piece comes out as well. All right, and now we can kind of lift this whole piece out. Be careful with the cables here, of course, and the LCD cable guide all these wires through the holes so actually replacing the screen assembly on this isn't too bad that's kind of a nice design okay props to dell on that it's kind of a cool hinge design so here you can see all these screws going to here 
Um, it's kind of a good design for minimal space because that, that helps with the lack of leverage on the screen. I'm going to set that aside for now. Okay, as you can see, there was there's some hidden screws under here that we're going to have to take care of. And yeah, we're probably near completed of removing the entire motherboard from here. So let's go ahead and remove the two hidden screws here. Again, the hard part is remembering where all these screws came from. So hopefully you guys were kind of keeping track of all your screws. Some people will take pictures of their screws as they remove them to help them keep track. Whatever works for you, just do that. All right, so we got that. There's some screws under there, but I don't think I need to remove those. Okay, now we're gonna go across here. There's one screw here. The thing is they actually put some labels here. So there's an M2 uh, by five here label. So it helps you know where the screws came from. Okay, so we got another screw here. I'm gonna put that there. And then the fan also has one here. The fan screw or uh, cable comes out just like the other. You just pinch the wings and then you kind of just wiggle to pull it. So just like the speaker connector. Again, I'm not going to remove it because I don't need to. So we're going to leave that there. Then let's see what else do we got. We got these two screws here, M2 by three. So I'll remove that screw as well. Remove this screw. It's actually not too bad removing all these all right and then there's one more m2 by five screw here and i think that's all of them so let's see if we can lift the board out now or if i'm missing anything again i left this here so you want to be careful if you did that too all right let's go ahead and lift this up we got the bio cmos battery here okay and now we're going to kind of wiggle and pull this out. It's kind of stuck here a little bit. Uh, there's a SIM card tray here. If you want, you might have to remove that to make it easier to pull this out. But just wiggle it around and there we go. So we got the whole motherboard logic board out. Here you can see there's not really anything on the bottom to do. But there's the SSD. I left it attached. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for now just to take a look and see if I need to transfer anything else over. Okay, gotta be careful. So let's see here, so we got the screw. So here you can see they're missing some screws. I guess the person kind of, when they made this, they refurbished, they put a new keyboard, but they didn't transfer over all the screws. I'm not sure why, it's kind of weird. It's not that hard to transfer over these screws. Okay, put it this way. Tighten this screw into place completely. All right, let's go ahead and look at the other one. We got those two screws. We got that screw. We got, we're missing another screw there. See, I don't know why they just left all these screws out. It's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and put this screw there. So I probably could have just replaced the whole keyboard. I thought it was held in place with melted plastic, but looks like it was actually not. This screw, I don't know where they got this tiny screw from, so I'm going to actually get a larger screw from the original one and transfer that over. Okay. Nice thing with recording these is if for some reason I do need to return the parts, then I have complete video of what I did, and then I can just reverse it all. Alright, I'm missing another screw on this one. Man, okay, I got this whole assembly to make it easier for me to work on, but it looks like it's causing more work. Okay, so here they didn't have these two screws on the original one, so I don't know why. So maybe it was just missing screws. Maybe from the factory they just don't put all the screws, which is kind of weird. Well, anyways, this has screws in it, so I'm going to leave them there. I'm not going to pull them out. Okay. Got the one screw there, and then we got another missing screw here, so we're going to transfer that as well. Okay, and I think that's all we need to transfer over. Let me take a quick look, make sure everything else looks good. Power button looks okay. Got that cable, speaker cable. We got the extra cable here for that, touchpad cable. 
All right, everything else looks good. If you're wondering these cables to remove them, there's these latches, you flip them up and then you can pull them out. If you're kind of curious and not sure, you can watch my other videos on how I take apart those things. It looks like the buttons for the trackpad are removable, but the touchpad itself looks like it's kind of um, glued down or something. Uh, either that or you have to take this whole pad out. Okay, I think we're good with this. We do have an extra piece on the new one here. So, yeah, all right, but anyways, let's go ahead and transfer everything over. So, first things first, so we're going to get the motherboard, the logic board. Um, this is kind of dusty and gross, so I'm actually going to take a toothbrush and clean it off. So, I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I'm back, cleaned it out a bit, it had like cigarette smoke or something in it. But anyways, we're going to drop this back into place. Make sure these cables all end up back on top, so you kind of have to hold them out of the way as you drop this into place. Okay, just like this. Get it all lined up, drop it down. Okay, hopefully everything is good and lined up. You do want to check, make sure that things are lining up properly. Um, this one for some reason isn't completely flat. I don't know what's going on here. So I'm going to lift it back out and see if something is trapped under there. That's kind of strange. So I don't see anything trapped there. Let's see. Maybe this metal piece is bent. Oh, yeah. This metal piece is like bent slightly for some reason. If you look at this, this one's completely flat. So I'm going to try and bend this back and we'll see here. Man, the replacement part is having some issues. Okay, I'm going to undo these screws a little bit so that it can move around. And then we're going to go ahead and try and push this flat. Okay, it is unbending, so that's good. I think what I'm going to have to do is take this out and then pull it up and bend it a tiny bit. So let's get that out and this screw out. Okay, so this piece, they somehow bent it a little bit, so... Let's get underneath here with my thin pry tool. You're very likely not going to have to do this at all. I'm doing this because the part came bent for some reason. Okay, so let's try and bend that back. And there we go. Should be hopefully good enough. It's still slightly bent, but I can't really 100% bend it completely flat. So we're gonna have to have the metal casing deal with that All right I'm getting a call now man I'm gonna hopefully I'm not losing business making these videos actually I probably am because everyone's using the videos to repair their stuff instead of bringing it to me now but <laughs> anyways let's get that in okay this screws a little loose so let's tighten that as well tighten up these little screws here okay Let's get the motherboard and put that back into place. Okay. Get that all lined up. Get these wires out of the way and drop it into place. There we go. Okay, get everything lined up, dropped into place. Let's go ahead. Oops, I can't really show this now because it's in the way. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting these screws back in to make it easier to see. So got this screw here. I'm going to loosely fit them first. Got this screw here. Okay. Got this screw here. Got this screw over here holding the fan. Okay. Then we got the two screws holding this bracket for the RAM and then we got the one screw all the way over here so now I'm gonna tighten all the screws down let's put this screw tightened all the way first there we go oops that's how you know you have the right size screwdriver <laughs> if the screwdriver bit gets stuck into the screw itself go tighten that all the way down let's tighten these four into place as well okay then we'll get this one up here 
go. And this one here. Make sure you get the DC jack or charge port slotted back under and into place. Okay, make sure to get that lined up. You should see that it looks good. All right, then we have this metal bracket on top here. Okay, let's see here. So, get all of that. Let's go ahead and reconnect all these cables. I'm gonna zoom in and so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, I left the BIOS or CMOS battery connected. I'm gonna have to add a little um, double stick adhesive here just so it doesn't move around. You could always just roll a piece of tape as well. It doesn't need a super strong piece of uh, adhesive. So I'm gonna show you can use like regular scotch tape, okay, and then just roll it into like that, okay, and then just stick that in there, and stick that in place, and there we go, oops, knocking stuff over, all right, let's go ahead and plug this little cable in, make sure the latch is up, Get that in. I usually use the blue tab. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, get that in. And then put that latch down. All right. Then we'll get the speaker connector here. Get that lined up and pinch the two together, just like that. All right, and then we'll connect this smart card reader, um, even though they didn't have this before, but it has the little connector for it so might as well all right put that in latch that down touchpad make sure it's up as well get the connector in put that latch down all right and we're doing good all right so let's zoom out got the SSD here okay if you want you can take this back out and then make sure it's lined up push the SSD into place okay Make sure the SSD is in, and then get that screw and tighten it down. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to get the screen back into place. Okay, so take the screen. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, then just thread all these wires back through might have to bend them a little bit because they are like bent slightly okay thread them through it's probably the trickiest part hold this up all right and just thread them through okay there we go thread that through and then close that back up. Make sure you're not smashing the LCD LVDS connector. Make sure you get that out. Okay, there we go. Drop the two pieces together. All right, hinges should go in. Get the LCD LVDS connector. Make sure it goes into this slot here. Okay, you wanna be careful because there is a little notch that sticks out that you have to make sure it goes over like that okay let's get this cable into this rubber thing right line it up make sure it's lined up and then snap it down there we go okay so now we had the two screws over here that we took out so let's go ahead and put those back in again the um, little piece that was holding the fan is broken so that's not that one screw is not going to do anything let me see here. I don't know where that little broken plastic bit went, so I can't really put that back. So we're just going to put the screw there anyways. All right, there we go. Then we're going to take this metal bracket. It helps to take one screw while holding the bracket. Get the screw in there and use that to guide it like this. Okay. Take the other screw. Again, I just loosely fit it first so that way I can move this around. Then we'll get that screw into place and we'll tighten that down. Oh, there's a fly on my desk. I need to kill it. OK. 
Okay, killed that fly with some tweezers. All right, anyways, let's tighten this. Getting some dust in the computer. All right, so tighten these down to hold that bracket into place, the LCD LVDS connector. All right, then what we're going to do, let's go ahead and put these metal brackets back on. Okay, so we had these pieces. So the way these fit, they actually slide over the top, okay? Just like that, and then just like before, this kind of latches over it, all right? Oops, this kind of latches over. All right, let's see if I can show this side better. So you get this thing, it slides over like that, and then this part slides over and latches over the top. Okay, I'm actually gonna put, let's go ahead and put these screws in first, just so everything stays aligned. All right, remember there were eight screws here, so one, oops. Two, were there eight? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there were six, sorry. Two. All right, make sure it lines up right. So I loosely fit the hinge screw first, and then I'll tighten it once I get both of them in. Okay. Got this screw here holding this bracket. All right. This screw holding this bracket. There we go. Got this silver screw holding down this little cover. And then the other hinge screw. Again, the hinge screws I'm just loosely fitting for now because I am going to make sure the other screws go in as well. So this one doesn't want to line up right, so I might have to like move it around to get it to line up. See, this screw doesn't want to go in. And Oh, there we go. Okay, I had to kind of squeeze the two layers a little bit better. All right, so we're going to go across here and put these screws first before we get the rest. Um, let's put this, okay, we have that. So we'll start with this screw. So this is the other hinge screw that goes in here. So I'm going to tighten this all the way, and then we can go ahead and tighten the other one. So we'll get that one. Okay, and then we'll get the other side screw over here. that tighten that all the way all right now that we got that completely tightened into place these you can add some um, thread locker I should probably actually do that to help keep them from coming loose so I'm gonna actually get some thread locker you don't want to do this over the computer um, because you don't want to drip the stuff on it all right I might do it just because lack of space but let me show you here all right you can use the blue stuff. I like to use the red one because it holds a bit better, um, but you don't actually need much, just very little. So I'm just barely getting a tiny bit on there, not even a drop, okay? And then get that and we'll tighten this screw into place. Okay. We're gonna do that on the other side as well. Okay, as you can see, there's some blue thread locker on there already from before. Okay, just a very tiny bit. And then we'll tighten this into place. There we go. Let's go ahead and take these other screws back out so that we can add the thread locker to them as well. The reason I do this is because if the hinges come loose and start wiggling, then it can actually break the hinge off. So I've seen a lot of computers have that issue. This design is actually a lot better, so you most likely won't have that issue, but just to be safe, I'm gonna add the thread locker anyways. Okay. There we go. Very little though, it doesn't need too much. All right, put that away. Just enough so the screw doesn't turn a little. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put back, let's go ahead and put back the wireless card first. Okay, so let's put this in. We're just gonna put these to get them out of the way. 
So get these in to the rubber little wire guides. Come on, there we go. That goes in there, this goes up there as well. Okay, and in there. In there and then this goes down this way doesn't really matter which one you put where I think the gray one was here though but it doesn't matter because these are just if you were to install another type of card all right so get those wires in and out of the way there we go let's take the wireless card Get that lined up at an angle push the two together like that make sure you don't smash these wires of course okay and then let's go ahead and get these wires connected I probably should have put them on top let's go ahead and do that okay let me zoom in a bit more all right so let's get the wire here line it up the way you know it's lined up if it's in the right spot it won't move around I'm pretty sure the white one was down there I'll double check in the video and then I'll fix it later but for now if I remember correctly the white one was there so I'm gonna do that all right you want to check yours to make sure I think it was there usually it's not a big deal it's just uh, antenna so it shouldn't really matter it's not like the antennas are different just one is a little bit longer of a wire here we go, we'll snap that one in as well. And then, yeah, I'll check off camera and then I'll fix it if I need to, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Let's get that into place. And we'll tighten the screws down, or this screw. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and put back the rest of the screws. Oh, I think I missed one screw there. Well, these screws are actually exactly the same, so I'm going to break my rule and we're going to put the other screw here because I missed that one. Okay, let's see how many screws are left. One, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we got all the screws and then the little bracket for the um, charge port DC jack. All right. So got that one. Second one here. Okay. Third one. I'm gonna see if I have another screw for that battery because they are missing one. So we'll see if I have a matching screw for that. I don't remember actually are these screws the same type or are they different let's see I think these were different screws yeah they're different they're shorter okay I'll see what I have in my box of spare screws let's go ahead and put this bracket back that holds the charge port in place this wire is in the way so I might have to take that out oops sorry I'm going off the screen there we go. So let's actually pull the LCD cable up a little bit and get this bracket under there. Get that out of the way. Okay, and let's tighten that down. There we go. All the screws back into place. Broken plastic piece, let's throw that away. Okay, so we got all of this back into place. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in. Sometimes on these, if you disconnect the battery, you might have to redo the, or you might have to plug it in to get it to turn on again the first time. So anyways, this battery, you slide it back down this way first, okay? There are little feet here that get caught underneath. So you have to make sure to kind of like slide it into place. All right, there we go. Let me see if I have replacement of those screws real quick. So it's kind of a thin screw, but somewhat long. This one might do. Okay, perfect size. The Only the top is a little bit skinny, but it should do the trick. 
All right. So we'll get that screw, fit that into place. Get this screw and fit that into place. And let's tighten it down. There we go. All right, and then we'll reconnect the battery here. Get it lined up, push it into place. And there we go. Got everything reconnected. Everything looks good. All these ports are lined up now. SD card slot looks good. Let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back on and then we'll power it up. Uh, sometimes it's also good to, well, actually let's test it real quick just in case because sometimes since I took one stick of RAM out, it might not be in right. Let's power it up. I see the power lights on, keyboard backlights on. So come on, screen's on. So we're good to go. And if this starts, okay, so they have a BitLocker password. Hopefully they're going to know this. Um, uh, because otherwise they're not going to be able to get into their computer. So I think this is like a school computer, so they encrypted it. Anyways, let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back on. So put it at an angle like this, slide it into place, slowly drop it down. Again, one of these plastic, be uh, or I guess it's like a metal, um, but one of it broke off. So we're just going to kind of line it up and then screw that back into place. So let's go ahead and get these screws all tightened down. I mean, this computer got, it looks like it has a lot of physical damage. So this replacement one has this little plastic piece chip there. Hopefully it's not an issue. I mean, that can be considered normal wear and tear just from putting it in your backpack and stuff. Those parts usually break off pretty easily. Okay, so let's tighten this down. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the middle one first. All right, I think these parts kind of clip a little bit. Yep. All right, tighten that down. All right, let's get this lined up. It goes underneath, so we kind of have to get this underneath first. Get that screw lined up. Oh, this going to be kind of a pain. There we go. And tighten that down. Perfect. All right, so we've got that all lined up. And we should be good to go. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. All right, bye.